Every crisis starts with a huge, dramatic, massive alert. Managing a cyber crisis needs expertise in both crisis management and cyber security. So when this happens, do you know who to call? How about Jayan Pereira? Jayan works in control risks in London in their cyber consulting and response department. Let's hear from him about a data breach he managed in the UK. So Control Risk was called in to assist a, a professional association um, who sat between customers and partners uh, to provide a conduit of information in their particular sector. They were targeted with a data uh, extortion, so someone had taken data off of their network and was extorting them for a demand of Bitcoin. By using Control Risk we are able to bring our experience and knowledge of similar investigations to the table to say what's going to be possible in the time period you may have. So 72 hours to respond to a regulator, for instance. Well, what is it we can actually do in that time? And therefore, what can we actually plan to provide to them, knowing full well we may not have the full picture? Um, once we got through that initial time period, we're also able to then look specifically at um, the technical detail and inform all of our clients and customers. But really, at, at the core of it, what we really had to do was try and piecemeal up those decisions, those communications, um, and make sure that the technical elements were not just happening in, in a silo, but were actually feeding in at regular intervals into the overall crisis management process. I think what was really interesting about this case is it was clear that this isn't one which just only involves technical expertise. Um, I think a lot of people look at cybersecurity crises and say, well, apply some techie experts to this. But actually, the implications in a sort of post-GDPR world now show that actually you need to have people who understand how a business operates, what potential legal ramifications there may be. And so working with Control Risk, what we're able to provide is sort of a multifaceted team who can come in with the subject matter expertise across investigations, across dealing with extortions, dealing with cybersecurity and forensics as well to make sure that all the questions that are going to be answered in those scenarios by everyone externally, everyone internally can be answered adequately. I think the really challenging element was that not all the information was available. Uh, the organisation hadn't necessarily got themselves ready to respond to this type of attack, um, so they didn't know where their data was, they didn't know quickly where the data that was supposedly lost may have come from. And what that meant was we had to hit the ground running very quickly, we had to set direction and understand the nature of their data estate before we could start to really start making decisions about how we wanted to respond. The threat that the client faced here was actually quite unique in the sense that this wasn't just a traditional criminal out to get them. What we found was that they were positioning themselves as a good guy, or at least a self-proclaimed good guy. Um, and what this really shows is that cyber attacks can come from a myriad of different places, not just your hacker sitting in a bedroom somewhere. And part of the response is trying to appraise the credibility of that threat, the nature of that threat, and therefore trying to understand what the possible outcomes that will appease that threat may be, and what it is that you may be up against. Through the crisis management process that we're able to bring to the crisis management team, we're also able to help them make effective decisions and execute a strategy that was linked to their objectives that they set in that very first meeting in terms of recovering and treating their customers and their stakeholders as priority number one. So when you see this, be prepared.